can't imagine him cuddling up next to her at the end of the night. Like, I just can't even imagine that. You know, she'd probably just be like, go in there, put on your pajamas. Did you take Frank? Frank, did you already take your bath? <laughs> I would like to thank Forever Roses for sponsoring this portion of the video. Forever Roses is a company based in New York, born in 2019, making the most luxurious box roses out of 100% natural roses, including roses from Ecuador. Forever Roses last for one year and they use natural oils to preserve the roses, nothing chemical. The bouquets are also handcrafted by professional rose artists. The roses come in round, square, and even heart-shaped boxes, and in many sizes, ranging from nine to 49 roses per box. All rose boxes are covered in materials that are vegan suede and velvet. Forever roses are also allergen-free. Forever Roses also ships worldwide and guys, as a special offer, Forever Roses is offering the bombshells an additional $25 off. Yes, you heard it here first. Guys, make sure you head over to Forever Roses today to receive your additional $25 off. And also guys, they are running a 4th of July sale where a lot of their items will be marked down an additional 60%. The best part of it all is that you will be able to use your $25 off discount in conjunction with the sale items that are currently marked 60% off for the 4th of July. Guys, make sure you click the link in the description box, head over to Forever Roses and purchase your gorgeous bouquet today. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, it is simply Welcome to my channel, guys. I am Rochelle, and we are obviously starting a new vlog. We're not about to play no games. We're not about to waste no time. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get into some of these church house announcements, okay? So church house announcement number one. Guys, I want to send a very special thank you to the staff at Jason's Deli, particularly Janice and Hunter, little fine ass Hunter. Baby, if I was a little cougar or whatever, I'd be all over little Hunter. But anyway, guys, I just want to send a special thank you guys. They, they have shown, like I went in the other day and they just showed so much compassion. I actually met Hunter maybe about two weeks ago when I went up there. And um, I just really appreciate them. They really took care of me. Janice took care of me. Y'all, she's so sweet. She's so pretty. So I just want to send a special thank you to the staff at Jason's Deli for always taking care of me. And, uh, you know, uh, Janice also put me on to that mac and cheese. And, baby, y'all, Hunter, Hunter tried to pull up on your girl. Y'all, he tried to pull up on me or whatever. And so um, I gave him my YouTube channel. So if you guys are watching, just thank you so much for your compassion, for your great service, and just uh, for being overall great, a great representation for Jason's Deli. Okay, so guys, that is church house announcement number one. Let's get, let me see, let me look at these notes. Um, let's see. Um, y'all, church house announcement number two. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, y'all. I need one of my millennials or one of my Gen Z's. Y'all, somebody, anybody, everybody, y'all. Can you guys please teach me how to Instagram? Guys, I'm working on it. Like, I'm getting better. But um, I just want to apologize to all of my bombshells on Instagram that DM me and stuff like that. And I don't, I'm not able to get back with you because I'm really over here on YouTube, you know. So guys, um, I, I'm i gonna say I apologize for the delay, but but I do have a special request Guys, if you could direct all of your questions um, that you have or all of your comments that you guys have about YouTube onto YouTube, it'll just help me stay organized because it really is difficult for me to navigate back and forth. And sometimes, you know, you guys will, you know, make, you know, really nice comments and stuff, but you'll be on YouTube saying, 
you know, like, oh, I saw your video and stuff. And so you're not getting a response and I'm able to respond back easily on um, YouTube. So please direct all of your YouTube commentary and comments and stuff over to YouTube. And I'm just piggybacking off of um, something that Gina Janine said. And she said it so eloquently. And she was just asking if you guys could keep all social medias in line and for example like i said you know if we could just maybe if you guys could just please help me out and when you have a comment just try to you know keep those comments over here on youtube and then if you do have something just specifically you know maybe a reaction to a story or something on instagram you do that um i am trying to use my instagram platform to help uh the instagram the bombshell baddies from instagram and so when i'm on instagram i'm really work i'm typically working with the next bombshell that's going to be uh premiered on the platform so if we could do that i would appreciate it and then church house announcement number three guys let's talk about you know when i bring um these beautiful women onto the forefront when i'm uh kind of uh, premiering and giving um an acknowledgement to the YouTube girl. So the what the way that it works is the 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 beautiful women that you guys see me shouting out, guys. The way that I do it is these are the women that when no one else was watching my content, these were the women watching my content, and so that's how they are selected. And so uh, when you see anybody that I've shouted out in these, these are just. You know, guys, when I first came onto the platform, I had four subscribers and then eventually that grew to 21 subscribers. And really out of that 21, it was just really like maybe eight of us who watched each other, you know. And so that's kind of the order of business. And so I am going to I would love to I, I want to show acknowledgement and homage to those women who supported me when no one else was here. But um, once I. Uh, once I have acknowledged those women, we will then get into acknowledging some other YouTube bombshells. But I do, I would like to acknowledge those ladies first, the, the, the top, what I consider to be my top seven, who supported me when, when, again, all we would do is just go back and watch each other's content. And so that's, that's the order of business. I know that a couple of you gorgeous girls have reached out to me on YouTube, you know, wanting to be premiered and you, you know, we'll get there, but just, you know, give me some time and, um, we will definitely be moving forward and uh, I'm hoping to bring something even bigger to the platform in terms of supporting black female creators and supporting creators on different platforms as well. Guys, that is truly my passion on this platform. I've always wanted a platform where I could help other women grow, namely specifically women of color, because I know that there is not a lot of support, and especially, um, you know, here on YouTube, it's getting better. But I still know that statistics show that black women are the first creators to leave the platform. And again, if there is anything that I can do to help me maintain and retain black female creators, then that is what I'm here to do. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys um, the order in which I do things and, and, and how the, uh, the YouTube bombshell of the week is selected. And so um, I think that's going to wrap up church house announcements. But guys, we are now actually going to segue into um, the bombshell, the bombshell of the week, honey, the YouTube bombshell of the week. Honey, uh, this lady, she has style and grace. She has strength, courage and wisdom. Guys, her channel was recommended to me by YouTube. Her name is Jackie's World. And guys, I found her through an actual video that she made in this video. In this video, she demonstrated so much strength, so much resilience, and just so much power. And um, it's a video where she talked about her uh, her marriage and just overcoming a domestic violence situation. When this man walked in from work and it was not anything on the stove cooking, he went ballistic. He took the pork chops out the sink and threw them all over the kitchen in a whole rage. He was in a rage. And so, guys, she is a powerhouse and she is absolutely a Southern Belle, honey. She's a Southern Belle. She does reviews and she has this absolutely awesome southern draw so honey if y'all like my southern accent y'all gonna love jackie guys please go over and support jackie jackie is literally baby almost one of my day ones i think jackie was probably maybe like 
the 20th subscriber that I got. Guys, we have almost 5,800 subscribers. So Jackie was probably one of the top, tw one of the 20th people that subscribed to my channel. And so guys, please go over. Y'all, I, I guarantee you, you ain't gonna regret it. And so that is going to conclude the bombshell of the week as well as a church house announcements. So guys, we are actually gonna go run some errands today. So we have a trip that we have to take very soon. It's, it is business, and but it's a little bit of pleasure as well. So I'll tell you guys more about that later. And uh, so right now, what we about to go do is go try to get these hooves. We gonna go try to get these hooves done, honey. All right, guys, so today's outfit is actually that convertible dress that I showed you guys. Um, I'm just trying to make the most out of the clothes that I do have, guys. I don't have a lot of stuff, so we just have to get really creative. So, guys, I took that dress, and I just made it into a skirt. So, these are the sleeves, and I just have it tied around me like a cute little wrap skirt. And then I put on this cute little, um, this cute little bralette top. That I purchased from Ross so this top came with a pair of pants and uh, workout pants or whatever and so I just put this together and then I just have one of these cute little um, like jeweled um, bejeweled sandals or whatever and so yeah girl that's our little outfit of today change of plans we're not gonna go get a pedicure because the lady that I like going to is on vacation so I'm gonna be honest y'all I had a whole plan written out in the order in which I wanted to do it. Well, now I didn't find out my girl is on vacation, so that's kind of mixing everything up. Mm. So now we got to figure something else out. All right. So what I decided to do was just I was like, let's just run to the mall because guys, I need some jeans because I don't own one pair, and I also need some tennis shoes. Um, normally when I get on a plane, I do like my feet to be covered, but um, I, I forgot you got to take your tennis shoes and all of that stuff off or whatever. So I'll just probably just wear like some little open toe, some little open toe shoes, you know, something, something you can slide on and off or whatever. So probably after we leave the mall, we're going to go to my favorite store, which is Value Village. And I need to get these lips together, baby. One thing about these lips, honey. They gonna look like a bowl of Frosted Flakes as soon as I get on camera. Baby, they be all moist and glazed up like a shipless donuts. The minute I turn this camera on, baby, they be looking like, oh, uh-uh, what is that? They be looking like Caesar from uh, Black Ink Crew, how his lips used to be looking. So let me grease these lips up real quick. I don't know, y'all. Damn, I don't feel like going to the mall. Oh, my God. Because now that I think about y'all, where well, I'm about to be, well, maybe Forever 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just go to Goodwill because I don't, I when I think, but I still need some tennis shoes. But I guess, I, I guess it don't really, I don't know, y'all. We got a story time today. This story time is a... So really, this is just, I, first of all, I'm going to need you guys, I'm going to need y'all opinion. And then this story time is just something that happened to me and then it, and it, it impacted the way that I handle things. So this is a lesson in, in friendship and loyalty and all of this kind of stuff. So recently I had a friend come to me and she, uh, you know, she, you know, she basically revealed some, some things that she found out to me and she revealed those things to me um it was about a situation and, and i think for my thing was well like i was telling her i was like well you know it doesn't really matter like i was just telling her like i would not i was like well if i would have got this information i would not have come oh uh -uh, look at this baby oh baby let me tell y'all some a truck driver they gonna stop on the side of the road anywhere it don't even matter let me get over so I was so she told me this but she was just being a friend that that's her that was how she she was being a friend and so I was telling her I was like well if I would have gotten this information I would not have told you and she was like really I was like nope she was like I would have wanted to know and I was like well no because I don't like guys and and, and y'all like just tell me like your opinion and guys don't don't judge me or anything but I'm okay I'm gonna tell y'all the story 
and it's gonna lead to why I'm the way that I am and why I don't tell my friends like bad things like like if someone is saying some bad things about my friend I won't tell them if if it's not a person that they hang out with I won't tell them and here's why so one time I was what me and Hotbox Bridget I don't know if y'all remember triple X rated vulgar and explicit I'm talking about the girl they call Hotbox Bridget honey Hotbox Bridget is in this story too she was in the last one of the last story times but she in this story time too so baby me and Hotbox Bridget we had went out one night to uh it used to be called Scott Gurdon Sports Bar the spot is called Prospect Prospect Park now so one night when it was Scott Gertner's sports bar, me and Hotbox Bridget had went out. Hold on. So guys, let me just, I'm trying to tighten up what I'm trying to say. So long story short, I had a situation where a friend contacted me and she was explaining to me something that happened that involved me. And when she was explaining it, um, and I was I was explaining to her, well, you know, like, okay, well, yeah, it's, that's not a big deal. And I was explaining to her, like, like every like your like I was trying to tell her like your opinion not hers but someone's opinion of me is none of my business it really is none of my business and sometimes I do react and sometimes I don't but honestly guys I got so much shit going on I'm gonna be honest with you I got a lot of shit going on and it's like I'm dealing with a lot of different emotions I don't know what's gonna trigger me what's gonna make me sad and the thing is you know, I'm not always going to be nice. I'm not always going to, you know, but what I am going to be is kind. I'm always going to be kind. I'm not always nice, but I'm always kind. But I'm actually real nice. Well, I don't like the word nice. I'm very kind. I'm very and I think, I cannot remember if it was Aaliyah's face or Peyton. I'm trying to remember who said it. They were saying that being kind is more important than being nice. And I agree with that. So long story short, when she conveyed the information to me, we was kind of talking about it and I was like, well, I would have not told you that. And she was like, why? I would have wanted you to tell me that. And so I told her this story about Hotbox Bridget. Long story short, guys, one night me and Hotbox Bridget, I told y'all that whole part. So anyway, we get to the sports bar. We're there. Hotbox Bridget is talking to a guy. So this guy's friend walks up. When the guy's friend walked up, he whispered in uh, Bridget's ear. And he whispered in her ear and then she pointed at me I didn't hear what he said I didn't hear what she said I just saw her pointing at me then he leaned over and he whispered in her ear again and then she just rolled her eyes and then he walked off and I was like what you know what happened what did he what did he say or whatever and she said I said why well, I said uh, oh no I just said what happened and she was like girl he leaned over and he whispered in my ear where your where your uh friends at and she said that's why she pointed to me and then when he would lean back in and he whispered he was like no i'm talking about your fine cute friends and then she said that's why she like rolled her eyes and i was like wow and i was and then i thought about it guys i oh my god i'm not gonna lie guys that hurt y'all that hurt me so 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 bad and guys this was before lyft and uber and all of those things and so i was kind of in a situation where i you know i didn't drive that night and so I wasn't able to be like I'm ready I'm ready to go I'm ready to go so anyway I just kind of sat there and I just yeah I just remember the pain how painful that was and so I, I just y'all that was that was I'm gonna be honest that was one of the most hurtful things that anyone has ever done to me and so later on I asked her I was like you know like you could have like you didn't have to tell me that you didn't have to tell me that and she's like I wasn't gonna lie what you wanted me to do was lie lie and it was just like dude like I don't think you understand the magnitude of the pain that that was and it was like shit I almost did want her to lie and so anyway she's like I, I wasn't gonna lie to you I wouldn't go lie to you and so anyway after that so that taught me like before I bring pain to my friends and tell them something painful and tell them something hurtful I won't I won't I'll I will handle the person privately the situation privately and my friends will never know I'll never be like girl yeah me and Shaniqua got into it because she was talking about your shoes and I I won't ever do that because I know that that's gonna hurt my friend and I don't want to bring pain to my friends just because someone did that to me and they had no they just didn't have any regard to how I felt you know and so anyway so me and my friend, we, we she was like, well, we're going to agree to disagree because of what I was explaining to her. She was like, that's 
that street code like if someone does something or if it's if it's something that I feel is going to impact you um I'm going to tell you and what I was explaining to her was like well it's not a real big impact on me if that person was explaining something from their perspective and I was just explaining that perception is reality and it, and I was also explaining to her like you know shit I'm a Capricorn and the thing about Capricorns is like as nice as we can be is as not nice as we can it, we can be we can be equally not nice and so you know I was explaining to her I was like listen it's probably gonna be at some point somebody gonna come to you I don't know I said if somebody come to you and tell you I'm an asshole and then somebody come to you and tell you I'm an angel I'm gonna need you to believe both because guys I have the capability to be both I do I have the capability to be the nicest person in the world and I have the capability to be stone cold and so you know I'm not always nice and I'm not, you know, always this just fun, goofy, bubbly girl. I am that 90% of the time, but that 10% I'm not. You know, I'm dealing with a lot of different things. And so I was just kind of explaining to her, like, you know, I don't feel any kind of way about the news that you're giving me because I'm not perfect. And if someone had uh, a perception of me and it, it, be it good, bad or indifferent, that's their perception. And I can't control that but i don't right now i just can't take anymore it wasn't it wasn't i didn't feel pain when she brought me that it was just that i'm in a situation like i don't have i don't have i don't have any more room on my plate for another battle and i'm tired and it's just like so she was hurt because she was saying god because she was saying i mean uh she was saying that she was hurt because of my reaction like my reaction was like well you didn't have to tell me that and um she was just saying and and i was and i was she was like because if someone you know if something impacted me i would want to know and i was just explaining to her like well i wouldn't tell you she was like really i was like no because i don't want to bring pain to you and so guys y'all let me know like are you guys like me do you guys like privately protect your friends and never tell them anything uh, like me or do you guys you find something out and then you tell your friends so they can have the knowledge and they can be aware so you guys just let me know which one um which one you are and then also guys neither one makes you a bad friend you telling your friend about something that doesn't make you a bad friend and you not telling your friend about something because you want to protect her and you don't want to bring pain to her that's that doesn't make her a bad friend or you a bad friend either so either way you're not a bad friend and so i just and so my friend she was saying it makes me feel really bad because i told you with good intentions and and you you're you know just your reaction and i was like well my reaction would probably be a lot more in depth if i didn't have the things that i have going on but again i can't control how someone views me I can't control that and I I'm not perfect all the time I have bad days things shit happens I I can be driving down the street guys and and I can see something that'll trigger me and I won't I'll cry for the rest of the night and won't pick the camera up I'm really going through a lot and so I'm not Miss America I'm not gonna show up as this perfect person I'm just not and um and so I can't control you know the way that people view me about to get into this try on haul so guys i'm going to be looking at my phone um you know to so i can remember the prices on this stuff so guys this is this absolutely gorgeous wrap skirt i purchased this skirt from value village as well as the top guys this is not this is a bikini top this set did not come together guys, this top was three dollars and this beautiful floral skirt let's see the top was three dollars and the skirt was five dollars so guys this entire outfit was eight dollars so look at this guys look how pretty this is guys i feel so pretty with this on the skirt is not exactly to your all the way to the floor but i just feel so feminine in this it's just such a beautiful flowy skirt let me turn around to the back so um it's just a be beautiful flowy skirt and then this is the front. It's such a gorgeous outfit. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, I'm back with the next outfit, guys. So this leather corset top was $6. 
and the pants were seven dollars and so the pants let me see if i can come closer the pants has like a leather you know what let me back up the pants has like a leather feel to them guys all of these outfits are brought to you by value village um so they do have a leather feel to them i absolutely love this cute little look i love the corset top but y'all let me fix my boobs so i absolutely love this look let me show you guys the look from the back so this is such a cute little look i love the brown um you know just the just the, the the mixture of the browns or whatever it looks so 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 cute the pants just they're very comfortable and so is the top i ain't gonna lie i wish i had a little bit more room in the top i'm gonna stretch it a little bit yeah that's better i absolutely love this look guys it's a little warm it's probably too hot for this i would probably have to wear this really late at night when it cools off but this is so sexy and it's just absolutely gorgeous guys i can't believe i'm getting all of this stuff i got is from value village so anyway guys so yeah this is going to be outfit number two or whatever all right guys can we get into this gorgeous sexy and sophisticated look number three guys this paint brush skirt was hold on let me see uh the skirt was six dollars and this gorgeous fringe top was three dollars so this outfit was a total of nine dollars guys this is a plus size skirt i do believe that this skirt is maybe a 1x i actually took it to my mom and she brought the skirt in and we made it more of an a line and so we just took it in at the waist and then she just kind of had it where it just skims me a little bit so it's not too tight it's still really really flowy let me turn around to the back i absolutely love this look and so this top is also a plus size top but what i did um it actually goes like this guys so this is actually the length of the top but what i did i just took and i just kind of tucked it in um you can wear it either way and so i just absolutely love this look i just love the fringe on this top it is so pretty so yeah guys um so yes guys this is going to be look number three all right guys so can we get into look number four honey look number four is so adorable guys this gorgeous skirt was three dollars 25 cents and this top was also three dollars 25 cents um i absolutely love the skirt let me step back so this skirt has a fish tail at the bottom and it has a tribal print guys this skirt literally comes literally all the way down to the ground um, I hope you can see that okay. And then, um, so this did not come together, guys. I paired this together. This is also, so this top is, I think, like a 1X, but it's, you know, it ties around. And so I just tied it around really, really, you know, tight or whatever, crisscross in the back. Let me turn around. So, guys, the top does crisscross. Oh, I hope y'all can see me. The top does crisscross in the back. And it does have, like, strings. But I took and I tucked the strings in. Let me pull them now, so guys, these are the actual strings, and I just tuck them in, you know, just so you guys can get a better idea of how the outfit looks with, you know, just without the strings showing, because it just gives it a cleaner look or whatever, so we're going to tuck that back in, girl. And then, uh, I think this skirt is like a size small, and so I did pair this together. When I seen the skirt, I was like, okay, I got to have a skirt. And then I went over to the swimwear department and that and then I found this top and it just it just happened to match. And so I absolutely love it. Guys, I cannot believe this outfit was under eight dollars. All right, guys. So this is going to be the last and final look. Y'all, I absolutely love this. Guys, this dress was also from Value Village. It was nine dollars. It is so freaking sexy it has the fish tail let me see if i can so it has the fish tail at the bottom it's so sexy y'all know what this dress remind me of remember in school days when they was like no 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 baby don't leave me here overnight
y'all i was thinking about y'all ever y'all ever been with a guy dated a guy who was like i'm looking for somebody to build with somebody to build with so we gonna talk about somebody to build with because now you know I, when i was in my in my last relationship you know towards the end of the relationship i remember my ex saying i want somebody that i can build with and i really had to sit down and think about it and when i think about it he wasn't saying b-u-i-l-d with this nigga was saying build with b-i-l-l -L. he wanted somebody to build with code word for i want somebody to help me pay these bills to pay bills with so when guys be like i want somebody to build with be careful because sometimes when they say build with what they mean is pay bills with not actually build with so be because sometimes baby that d is solid so yeah girl that was um yeah at the end of the relationship when he was just saying like the kind of woman he wanted he wanted a woman that was like his mama i want a woman that's like my mama the woman that cook like my mama so anyway girl i just was thinking about that i was thinking about that today because on my way home I stopped at the grocery store and guys, I don't know why, but every time I stop at the grocery store, it's always a couple in the grocery store fighting. So this particular couple was fighting over produce. They always fighting over some, some meat or something. And so anyway, um, the lady, this, the last time this happened, it was a dude uh, uh, the lady and her husband getting into it over bacon. This time it was them getting over, over it, getting into it over like produce. So anyway, um, she was like, "Go over there and get those red peppers." She, y'all, she was just bossing this dude around. She was, and they was old, an older couple. Go get those red peppers. And so he went and got the peppers, and she was like, "Go over there and get me a couple of tomatoes." And so he went and got the tomatoes, and then after that, she was like, "Go, go grab a couple of onions." And he just went and did it. He just he didn't, you know, he didn't, not to say that he would argue, but he just, you can just tell that she kind of, you know, um, I guess trained him on, I'm not going to say trained him, maybe he was all, always just docile, if you will, or whatever. But I was thinking like, I wonder when they met 80 years ago, did he look at, was, was she like, this, yeah, this is the woman I want to build with, because it's like, dude, you essentially are being treated you're being treated like a six-year-old like she was talking to that man like he was her son and y'all he was obedient and so i was like dang like she literally she was the boss and so um i was like like how do you know how do you go from like building with someone being in a relationship with someone being their equal to just like you know you're kind of like the I don't want to say underdog of the relationship, but that's like the best way that I can, that's the best way that I can explain it. Like, how do you go from having an equal position as an adult to going into a parent-child relationship with your wife? And I was looking at them and I was like, girl, y'all, they probably either sleep in two separate rooms or they sleep in the same room and it's two twin beds in a room. Cause I can't imagine him cuddling up next to her at the end of the night. Like, I just can't even imagine that. You know, she'd probably just be like, go in there, put on your pajamas. Did you take Frank? Frank, did you already take your bath? Go go get your bath, Frank. Go get your bath. And after the bath, we're going to eat dinner. And I was like, I just could not imagine, like, just being with somebody like that. Like, I've been with bossy, bossy guys and stuff before. I'll never do that shit again. I've definitely dated, like, bossy guys and i cannot i i can't personally do that again um guys i'm just actually just taking taking the hair and i'm twisting my hair into the the hairs but yeah girl so i was just like yeah but i've definitely um i've definitely dated like my fair share of guys who uh you know who were bossy and it's just like with me i don't like confrontation you know like I don't like to argue and that type of thing. I mean, but I'm actually getting, um, you know, like not, I'm not confrontational now, but I am learning to run towards the sound of chaos. And what I mean by running uh, towards the sound of chaos, like, you know, 
I'm learning to just address things and not and, and take and hit based on you know not not avoid like guys there are different types of uh, attachment styles and I know that my attachment style is avoidant and I have an avoidant personality meaning like I will traditionally avoid something before I address it you know we are like another attachment style is like um uh what's that other one How, I know it's avoidant I know that one because that's my personality style and then you have um okay guys so I got I got the facts baby it's the camera it's the camera shaking like a dope thing for me I cannot stand it it's not the camera guys it's the tripod but anyway okay so y'all the different types of uh, attachment style is secure avoidant anxious and disorganized I don't know like how your attachment styles are a personality types are but uh, are developed but these things typically show up in your relationship in your relationships be it women or men and typically with me I was just a very I would just avoid confrontation like didn't like to argue and that type of stuff and I do not I still don't like to argue you know I just kind of address it because I, I just think that if it gets to the point where we're just arguing too much I'm gonna be done I can't because I can't handle that like I'm a wordsmith and I can hold my own but in terms of just back and forth back and forth mentally I can't I can't do that I, I'm, I've gotten a little bit older now I just can't do that and so anyway um, because my attachment style in my relationships it was avoiding guys would look at that as like um Mm -mm, not these ashy lips hold on y'all because the lips turning into a bowl of frosted flakes again let me get something for these lips hold on okay y'all so yeah like because i did not i did not um like to argue in my relationships you know um guys would look at that as like like you're a pushover it's not that you're a pushover you know and, and even in some of my friendships i'm not friends with these people anymore but they always figure like because i don't like to argue or i would never they would say little smart little stuff or i would never say anything they always thought like oh like i like not that i'm a i'm like maybe like maybe i'm a scary person or not a scary person let me correct myself i'm a pushover because i won't say anything it's just that like for me and i don't know if this is like a capricorn thing or just i don't know if this has anything to do with your personality type i'm the type of person like tick 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 boom meaning that i can take a lot of like i can deal with a lot of stuff and then when i lose it i lose it i lose it i lose my shit. it's like a volcano and i don't know why i'm like that and i'm trying to work through that which is why you know now like i was telling you guys i try to run towards the sound of chaos y'all tell me if y'all are like that like because it's just like i don't think it's fair well i don't think it's fair to just i, I don't know because guys i just never know when my wall is gonna you know when i'm gonna just go off you know i just think like i don't know i don't know why i'm like that that's something i want to work through like and i and i am working through it or whatever but um i don't want to wait till i'm at that point to to just explode you know so yeah but yeah girl so i don't know i just think i just think like i like people i like people who face things just head on like i don't like you little digs and little subliminals I like people who just say 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 what a ti is. You know what I'm saying? What the hell, baby? Let me tell y'all something. I am fit to be tired, girl. Y'all, baby. Let me tell you. Y'all win me out with this Sam Dead San Joseph. Sam Dead San Joseph, girl. Y'all done took me out in these comments. Guys, thank you so much for participating and having fun. Y'all, I'm just a goofy little quirky little chick or whatever. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just honestly, guys, I'm just, I'm just a little nerd. A sexy nerd and a, a retired corporate thug. I couldn't get that out. And I just picked up the camera and started recording one day and, and here we are so guys thank you so much like y'all get me like you guys get me I was telling somebody I was like 
because we was talking about the bombshells and i was like let me i was like baby let me tell you something baby them bombshells they smart as hell because i was saying that you attract the type of person that you are and i was like it, it's some we got y'all smart as hell and i'm like baby them bombshells don't play and i was like man i never dreamed that i would have this amazing community of women community of women supporting me and it just makes me so happy because i'm gonna be honest girl y'all this oh this thing wearing me out wait a minute girl but anyway so y'all yeah that's a little bit better so y'all listen when i when i posed the same day and joseph challenge i thought i would just have a few people that did it baby everybody everybody then jumped on board and y'all i absolutely love it i love y'all like i do guys like i just never thought that my journey on youtube would go this far and it's just like i think i said this in another blog but the highest form of flattery is like I have gotten a lot of help and I'm I'm going to shout this to the rooftop, baby. But Gina has helped me. Peyton has helped me. Like I've got a lot of help. But what is the highest compliment is not only do you guys come over, you guys stay. And not only do you stay, y'all bring friends, baby. Somebody got no comments and somebody's talking about, baby, I got my ex watching you. So when you got your ex watching, you already know. And so that y'all, it just makes me feel so good. And also guys, I just want to say thank y'all for going over to show support to the girls that we showcase on the platform. Y'all, it just means so much to me. But y'all, guys, tomorrow is our big day baby baby it's the frosted flakes on the lips for me but anyway so y'all tomorrow is our big day guys we get the keys tomorrow and i'm so excited and i'm like oh my gosh so it's like i, I cannot y'all i cannot believe this is real and it's like y'all get to share this moment with me and i just man i just feel like I just feel like I got, because I think we almost at, we have 5,755 bombshells. I feel like I have 5,755 sisters. Like, I just feel so loved. And it's just like, I never dreamed this in a million years. And then, guys, we're only going up for here, from here. All right, guys. Um, good morning. Today is the big day. So today is the day that we get our keys. I, guys, I barely slept last night. So I've been up um, probably since like about 4 o'clock this morning. Let me see what time is it now. Y'all, it is 7 o'clock. So I'm over here working on the registry. So I'm working on the bombshell Amazon registry. So I'm doing that now, um, the gift registry. And I'm tired, but I'm just like, I'm too excited to sleep. So... I y'all I just I cannot I just still cannot believe like this is like this is actually happening or whatever so um I think I'm gonna maybe work on the registry a little bit more and then um I don't know because it's like what time I'm a what time we gonna go get our stuff or whatever what time we gonna go get our keys and so I'm just like oh my god this is like y'all this is crazy like i didn't want things to happen this way but it's just like man to go from you know where i'm coming where i where i was to where i'm coming from is crazy and so i don't i'm think i think i might have might have talked about this in another um in another video but i think just the message that i want to share with you guys this morning is like man just never never underestimate yourself or whatever and it's just like I, like I said, all of these years I've been in my old apartment or whatever, just not thinking that, um, you know, I would, I would have the credentials, if you will, like, yeah, you have the credit, you know, you do are able to verify your income, but when you've been living off of your savings, you know what I'm saying? Like you've been living off of your savings or whatever. You don't know that these companies, they take a, a bank statement. I had no idea this whole time. I was like, man, I just feel stuck. I'm stay. I'm over here because nobody will probably approve me because I don't have any paycheck stuff because I'm trying to make my dream come true. And in the interim of making my dream come true, I'm I'm pouring so much money into this thing, guys. I poured a lot of money into YouTube or whatever. So anyway, um, 
I just feel grateful. Instagram baddie of the week is one of my dearest friends, guys. We met when we worked for a telecommunications company, honey. And uh, she used to be so professional. She used to know how to get those customers together, but she was also about her business. She is a boss, she is a mom, and she is a great businesswoman. to Instagram. I'm going to put her Instagram information below, but head over to Instagram and I would like for you to support my friend. When I tell you these products are amazing, I would like for you to head over to Instagram and show her some love. I'm also going to link her Etsy store below. Guys, these lotions and creams are the creams that she offers. They are really good for eczema and they're just overall relaxing. She does have a line of products that just helps you relax. They smell so amazing. They smell so good. And um, they're just, it's just a very high quality product. I'm gonna be honest guys, it puts me in the mind of Bum Bum Cream. And so it's on the lines of that in terms of the texture, the quality, you know, the smell is just a really, and again, they do help with eczema. So guys, make sure you head over and support my friend and uh my so she's my friend my old co-worker she's my prayer warrior she is my prayer partner guys we've been through the tr trenches together and also guys she's supposed to be coming onto the youtube so y'all go and sh show her some support please i would really appreciate it and again um head over to her etsy store and uh look around and hopefully you'll make a purchase I am back and I just came to show y'all the outfit of the day. So guys, I have on these gorgeous yellow pants. I purchased these from Value Village. I absolutely love them. I have on this cute little blouse, guys. And what I did, I just tied a 50 style. If you guys want me to show you how to tie the blouse like this, um, I can show you. Um, just let me know. And then I just have on these really cute like blue shoes that I purchased from Shoe Deal. I think these shoes were about maybe like $16. So yeah, girl. So we're going to wear this. Um, y'all. Oh, let me show y'all my earrings. So y'all, these are the earrings. I got these earrings from, uh, Harwin. I'm getting, I get all my earrings now from Harwin. All right, y'all. So guys, we're getting ready to actually, um, walk to the property and get the keys. And then, um, I'm going to actually do an empty apartment tour. Guys, I am so nervous.
guys so that is our empty apartment tour guys i'm so excited i just man i just i i just feel so grateful like oh jesus there is power in the name of jesus and so guys i just i'm not gonna cry but I, you know what? I might cry. <laughs> I might cry. Um, I'm just grateful. Thank you guys so much, y'all. I can't. I couldn't even imagine in a million years that I would be living in such a beautiful place. I mean, I knew that you know, I would elevate, but I had no idea God had this in store for me, so I'm just so grateful. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your love and for your support and for your encouragement. I'm just, thank you, Gina. Thank you, Peyton. Thank you for anybody who has helped me build my platform. Guys, I just... I feel, thank you guys, thank you bombshells, thank you guys for keeping me in the algorithm and for helping me grow. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my content. I'm just so grateful. I'm just like, wow, guys, this place is, it is gorgeous. I just, y'all, <laughs> I'm looking around like, oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is my home. This is our home because without y'all, without God and without you guys, I don't think I could have done this. And it is just so beautiful. Like I still, guys, I still cannot believe, <laughs> I still cannot believe I live here. So, golly, wow. I'm just like, wow, I'm still in shock. But anyway, guys, so I do have, cause we're not gonna end this vlog, even though I'm very emotional, we're not gonna end this vlog on a sad note. So this is a call to action. I am calling all bombshells. Guys, I need all hands on deck. I need, <laughs> I need my baby bombshells. I need my boss bombshells. I need my OG bombshells. I need my YouTuber bombshells, my creator bombshells, my influencer Instagram uh, baddie bombshells. I need everybody. I need all hands on deck. Guys, we are going to dance our way out of the vlog. And so, guys, I want us to do a virtual soul train line. So, I'm going to start the line off or whatever. And so, we're just going to dance our way out of the vlog. Guys, please join me and dancing our way out of this vlog and then just giving, you know, just giving praise and just giving glory to God. So y'all get ready, cause it's about to go down. So y'all get ready to dance. Put your high heels on, baby. Get your frozen coke. In fact, guys, let me get the frozen coke. It's not the look, <laughs> it's not that much left. But guys, get your favorite drink, get you put on your heels and baby, we getting ready to dance our way. So we finna do, we gonna do a soul train line out of the vlog, guys. And then y'all comment below. You guys comment below if you enjoy the uh, soul train line. And guys, also let me know, um, you know, let me know how you like the apartment. Pop, pop. 
Popeyes And niggas wanna play both sides It's a red dot, don't get on the wrong red eye It's a headshot, then it can't woo them guys Fuck around and bag two of them guys I'm OD in Paris, I'm OD in France I thought that I told you I need the advance Put down your IG and look through my lens A million to grandma, who did I offend? Me got all your dreams, to me as a fan I made it to million and did a little dance I'm fucking the world, I use it my fans My uncle G told me that I had a chance So then I popped out and did it again And did it again, and did it again I cannot respect them, and did it again Advice from the council, let nobody in They're swearing through rumors, avoiding the trends And ducking the holes, I'm ducking the loony That come with the shows, I'm grateful to me to come and compose, I reach to the stars on my tippy toes This credit success when most niggas fold I tell you my past, that shit don't get old But how could you ask, like I don't be writing my raps The critics got everyone tapped, you gotta relax The city where nobody sleeps, just tap in and that's where I'm at Ho!